Hey guys, welcome to quarantine catching workout, catching challenge number two. Uh, what I want to say to you guys is since we're live, if you have any questions or comments, shoot them on over. My wife will read them to me while we're going through this workout. I'm trying to keep these videos short, 10 to 12 minutes to, to get in and get out, but these workouts are not meant to be done quickly. If you have time, go back later. You can view it. You could pause it. You can make sure you do it right because if you're not doing it right, then what's the point, right? Uh, so this quarantine thing, the only way we're going to get through this is if we all stick together, we stay strong. You guys have been motivating me to work out hard and get all my work in every day, Monday through Friday. I hope that we can all motivate each other. If you want to send some videos on the link, I saw one guy sent video of footwork and throwing. That's great. I'll try to comment. I'll try to, I'll try to like, we can try to all get through this together. Uh, if you're stuck in your house, send me a comment. I'll try to tailor some videos so that we can all make sure that everybody can do what they did. Last video, it was, it was snowing here, so we stayed inside. This video, it's beautiful out, so we're outside, but I want to tailor it so everyone can get some work in. I have a balled up sock here. I brought eight pairs of socks out. This will give you guys an, an example of what you can do inside. You can throw this against the wall. Don't throw it at the TV. Don't throw it at any picture frames, but you will be able to get your work in with the socks. And I'll try to go back and forth between socks and real balls today so we can get our work in. Let's get going. First drill is a receiving drill. And the point is to teach you to beat the ball to the spot and work back towards the middle. So my wife, Jamie, who, who is helping me today, she's going to throw the ball to this side. I'm going to work on hitting it back to this side. If it's over here, beat it to the spot, hit it back to this side. After that, we'll get into normal receiving. And then we'll be able to actually catch the ball and frame it. So we're going to start with socks. Up, down, inside. If it's up, knock it down. If it's on the backhand side, knock it over. If it's on the forehand side, go that way. Okay, and then with baseballs, we do the same thing. One more to each of these two spots. And then we put our glove on, and it's the same idea. Get around it, but now we're going to catch it. Catch it, work it back towards the middle, just like if you were knocking it. Good. Go three to each spot. All right, next we're gonna work on a little bit of blocking. Again, we're not wearing chest guards today. I don't have a cup on, so we're not gonna actually block the ball. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our block and recover. So put three balls out, one left, one middle, one right. Start behind the plate. You're gonna you're gonna block that ball, get up, get your feet, pick it up. So I'm gonna start on the left, block it, get up, retrieve. Footwork towards second base. Middle. And off to the right also. We'll do two to each spot for this today. If you can, try to get up without having to use your hands. If you have to use your hands, that means your, weight, your weight's way too far forward. It's not an athletic movement. Keep your weight back, be athletic. Get up without using your hands. All right, that's a good one. Next, I wanna get on, I wanna get to throwing people out of second base. I want you to start on your right knee down. Unless you're the rare left-handed catcher thrower, then everything's gonna be backwards for you. But you're gonna start with your knee down, and the key to this is gonna be our hands are the most important part of this. Get it in, get it out as fast as you can. If you're inside, you can use the socks again. Bare hand, get the socks, get it in and out. But if you're using baseballs, in and out of your glove. I want you guys going so fast that you might miss some. Test your limits, see how fast you can get. The only way to get better is to push your limits. Good, we'll go five here. I missed one, that's all right. It's really trying to push my limits there. One more. All right, from there, add the feet in. Start in your squat. Again, the key is working on your hands being as fast as they possibly can. If your feet, your feet will catch up. Hands are the most important part of this. Oh, not my best one right there. 
Good. Fast as you can. No matter where the pitch is, guys. Pitchers in the game are going to make pitches all over the place, too. Oop. I threw that to the neighbor's house. <laughs> One more. Good. All right. Let's go through that whole setup one more time. Make sure we're doing it right. Whole set, second time. Start with your bare hand, knock the ball. No matter, no matter where it is, knock it back towards the center. You have to beat the ball to the spot. Work back towards the middle. One more. Good. All right, glove on. We're running out of baseballs here. We're good. All right. Glove on, same idea. Catch the ball, working it back towards the middle. If you were in your action stance last time, primary stance this time. Guys, umpires used to hate it when you frame. They can't hate it anymore because everyone's doing it. This is your livelihood. Make pitches that aren't strikes, into strikes. If it's borderline, bring it back. Two more. Good. One more. Perfect. All right, I need two more balls. We're going to do the blocking drill again. One left, one middle, one right. Block it. Get your footwork to second base like you're going to throw that guy out. What good is blocking it if he can advance? Work on your quickness. Get up as fast as you can. Not wearing cleats, just get it out right there a little bit. That's okay. Working on being quick. Two to each ball. Ooh, my legs are burning. Hopefully yours are too. We're getting better today. Last one. All right, back to the throwing drill. You're on your right knee. The hands are the most important part. If you lose it, that's all right. We're being quick as we can. Whew. Get it out. No matter where the pitch is. Beautiful, two more. Last one. Yeah. In and out. I got a little bit of a bad grip on that one because I was trying to be quick. Just like in the game, finish the play. Even if it's not a perfect grip, find a way to throw. If you have it in your fingertips, find a way to do that. You don't always get a perfect grip in the game. Um, also, we had, a per we had a really great question after the last video from Kathy Hansen. She said, do you always grip at four seams when you throw down to second base? Ideally, when you throw the ball, you're trying to throw it four seams so that it goes straight. But at the heat of the moment, you're trying to get it out in a tenth of a second, in two tenths of a second. You want that ball out of your hand. So you're not always gonna get four seams and that's okay. If you have good arm action, you stay behind the ball, it should go straight anyway. Good question, Kathy, thank you. Okay. That one was a little slow, I'm gonna try to go faster than this one. Got a bad grip on that one, that's okay. Finish the play anyway. Beautiful, two more. Oh, I knocked my net over. That's <laughs> awesome. Hit the neighbor's house again. One more time. <laughs> All right, perfect. Is there any more questions on there, Jim? Nope, just lots of people watching. All right, no more questions for today. I want you to go through three to five sets of that. I'm pretty winded right now because I've been talking the whole time. I'm jibber jabbering. But you guys can get some good work in. Oh, people are asking some questions now. Do you think about anything in particular when you reach into your glove to grab the ball? When I reach into the gl my glove to grab the ball to throw, all I'm thinking about is my target. Once that ball is in my glove, I know where my glove is, I know where my two hands are. So now I don't have to look down at the glove, the first thing I look at is where I'm gonna throw. Because that's where I'm start trying to line my body up and make a good throw as fast as I can. Um, one more, are you emphasizing the beat the ball to the spot and work back towards the center glove movement as part of the drill? Or do you teach that much glove movement when you try to set and frame for a pitch? Another good question. We're emphasizing all that glove movement because it's a drill. And it's easier to rein it back in in the game than to do extra in the game. So we always wanna push our limits now in practice 
do a little bit extra to teach the movement, and then in the game it's easier to minimize. But at the same time, the game has changed. Catching's different than it used to be. Framing is a huge part of it. It's the most important thing that I do as a pro catcher. So if you move that ball a lot, that's okay. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Go out there, kick some butt. I want you guys, I did two sets of everything here. Do three to five sets on your own today. Stay strong.